It's hard to admit. But mushrooms never really told me to go vegan. Yes, big shocker, but it's true. Mushrooms never explicitly told me, Bobby, you have to go vegan. That wasn't it. I had visions of all-encompassing, unconditional love. I had visions of Jesus telling me that saving the life of a little frog is just as valuable as saving the life of a human. In those experiences, I saw that life has equal value and that we as humans like to label and that we as humans in that human perception, obviously, will value humans over animals. But universally speaking, that doesn't matter. But again, there was not a message of me going vegan because of it. It was about acknowledging that life and respecting it, protecting it even. Because that was so, I was interpreting veganism into the mushroom messages. I saw unity. I saw that everything was interconnected. I saw that I was eating the other and the other was me. I had those epiphanies, if you will. And because of that, I went vegan. But yet again, never did the mushroom tell me to go vegan. Never did the mushroom tell me what to eat before <laughs> he ultimately told me to eat eggs. During those psychedelic experiences, I had a vision of a vegan-ish future, but I had visions of transcending humanity as well. I saw us not being human anymore, similar to grey aliens, if you will, transcendent beings, transhumans. And in that state, we were able to not eat flesh anymore. But it never told me that the human body is able to live only of plants. That is the dilemma that we are facing as humans. That is the duality that we live as humans. That is the suffering that we endure as humans. To love something so deeply and to have to kill it in order to be healthy. For you to live, something must die. That is a harsh reality. That is a really harsh reality. It is easy to live in bliss and ignorance and to just eat meat, to not reflect upon it. But once you went so deep, so deep into your own subconscious, so deep into the realms of compassion, unity and love, you went vegan because of it. To drop that label and to ingest the other, is the hardest thing I've ever done. That is the truth. And I know that the vegans will blame me forever, basically. They will blame and shame me forever. But only I know how vegan I was. I will always be vegan in my heart. I never wanted to kill. You have to understand that. But it is about the acceptance of the whole. It is about the understanding of the whole picture. Where is light, there will be shadows. The darkness is an intrinsic part of this experience. Not only the human experience, but this experience that we call life. Somebody blamed me and told me that calling my podcast on the main channel Beyond Veganism is condescending. And that puts me into a position where I think I'm better than a vegan. No, I do not think that I'm better than anybody because one particular trait does not define a human being. But veganism for me, if you want to label that experience, was that experience. And that one is in the past now. And we are transcending it. We are moving beyond it, of course. For somebody else, veganism can come in a late stage of life. 
heard about people going vegan in the 60s and 70s. And for them, it is the last dietary shift. And that is great. Enjoy. For me, it happened in my 20s. And I transcended it. I came to the conclusion that I cannot live my life like this. I cannot live my life like this in my 30s, being malnourished. Mushrooms did not turn me vegan. Mushrooms gave me visions about all of those factors in life. That was an aspect of this multidimensional reality. It is not the whole picture. It was crucial for me to understand back then. And I learned the lesson. Now it is time to learn another lesson. Now I'm in Macedonia. Now I'm gonna hunt. Now I will kill for the first time in my life. For me it is all about being congruent in life. For me it is all about being aligned with my own values and choices. I chose to eat meat and hence I will have to kill. I will have to face those fears, the fears of the animal and my fears. And I will have to embed myself in that cycle of life and death.